Hello, dear colleagues. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an exam using Google Forms and Google Drive associated these um, Google Drive platform and the included Google Forms application are associated with any Gmail account, whether that's professional or personal account. So in order to access Google Drive, you can open your email, your um, mailbox, your Gmail account, and you can have two um, types of display. The advanced display, where you have this uh, icon here, you click and it takes you to uh, Google Drive. You choose Google Drive from the list here. If you don't find it, you go to more, autre application, or if you have the traditional HTML display, you click directly on the link above Google Drive. So as soon as you open Google Drive, you will have, this is what is going to be displayed in your um, browser. So what you do, you go to Nouveau or New, and you create Google Form. If you don't find Google Forms here, you go to Plus, then you'll find it in the uh, extra list. So it is here. I'm going to create Google Forms. So first of all, you give a name to your form, exam. I'm going to call it number one, um, exam, sample, all right? So when I click here, it updates the title of the Google Forms automatically. As soon as I have created my Google Form, I can then add questions and instructions. So I come here, the first one question is created automatically, and I can choose the type of questions here. So I go to short answer, réponse courte, and I write here, um, name or full name so it's a short answer réponse courte students will not write much and i come here to this icon and i add another um question sorry uh, this time i keep it with the default type of question mcq multiple choice questions and i write um group so whenever I add a question, I can add an, another one just using this icon. So let us say I have group 15 and group 20, just an example. So my students will be will belong to one of these groups. So I have to know which group my students are, okay? Um, and then I add, the most important part here, which is the part or the question where I ask the students to um, upload or the instructions. I can I can choose here paragraph format and I write questions and then I copy I, I copy and paste the response long. Uh, I can add a description here with the T, which means text, and add a description. Sorry, sorry, the description. Um, I will delete this one. So I come here and I give description. And in this description, I can, I can add as much information. Um, I can add the instruction here. This is a simple one. And then I come to the part where I ask my students to upload their files in terms of, or in the format of, uh, in, a do in a document format, whether that's PDF or Word. So, importer un fichier, load a file, continue. So, um, 
I can write upload your answers here or your document. Then I specify the type of documents that I accept. I check this one. I choose document and PDF. Um, I can choose other formats, but these are the most common ones. How many files do I want my students to upload? So just one file, preferably. Time maximal, maximum um, file size, 10 megabytes. But most students do not go beyond, most files will not go beyond one megabyte because they are simple documents, but you never know, just in case. Um, I make it obligatory and see if there are other options. I can add a description. Okay, so I have created my um, exam question or my um, link for a Google form that students are going to use in order to upload file. It, I can also add documents, a link to a document that I want to um, give my students to read. Let us say I want my students to read the questions, uh, to download the questions in a, um, in a Google Doc. So I upload it to my Google Drive. I can upload file here and put the fichier. And then I come to the file, right click, and get the link. So I can choose who can see everyone, tous les utilisateurs disposant du lien. I can make give the right for everyone with the link to see, to view the document. Then I copy the link. Terminé. Done. I come to my form and in the question. I can say, I can give a link. Here is a link. I can say, download the questions. I am only using Google Drive for uploading files in terms of exam questions or creating Google Form that I'm going to use and send to my students in order to allow them to upload their files, their answers. So I have finished here. I can just close it. It is automatically saved. And when I want my students to answer, when I want the exam to start, I can send a link. Hopefully send. I can either send it by mail to, let's say, a delegate, or I can come here, copy the link, and shorten the link, copy the link, and send it on Moodle or on any other. Here is the link. I have created the link. I can say exam one. So this link I can later on copy it or share it with whoever I want. What shall I do when I want to? Download the answers. Let us say the exam is over. Um, I can come here and see the responses. If I want no one to upload any more documents, I can check this one or uncheck it. Sorry, response accepted. But in order to check the files or to download all the files and print them later on, I must go to Google Drive again and go to a folder that there is a folder that is created automatically that has the same name as my Google form. For example, here I have created one called number one exam sample. The form is called number one exam sample and the folder that is created and associated with the Google form has the same name. So, but I'm going to use another folder that I created earlier, this one, one academic, sorry, um, no, not this one, 
let's say this one. All right, I will open it. Sorry, I don't think there is any file here. If I go to yeah, sorry. Exam answer sheet upload M1 S2. So I open it, the file responses, and then I open this folder again, another folder, subfolder. I get all the documents that I can read or download directly from here. If I want to download all the documents, I go back to the original folder. Then when I have subfolder, uh, displayed here, you can right click and download. It's going to be downloaded as a zip file. I can extract it and print all the documents inside the folder that is created. So I can, I, can, I have already done that. So I can come here. I've already downloaded the zip file connected with my Google form. Upload your file here. And here are the file responses. So I can print all these documents. They are in the same folder. I can select 10 documents at the same time. Say five documents and then right click. Then choose imprime print. And then another five or ten and do the same thing. Uh, do it gradually in order not to overload the printer. So that's how you um, can use Google Drive and Google Forms to create and download. Um, create a form for students to upload documents and then you can download them download them to your computer.